Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some more Lost Judgment. Last time Sawa Sensei finally opened up to Yagami a little bit more about Toshiro, about Mikoshiba and exactly what happened. There was bullying involved. The teacher that could have stepped forward to say something actually decided not to for some reason. And Sugira and Sukumoto got attacked, which is very not good. There's definitely somebody who does not want us investigating this further, but we're going to keep investigating in today's episode, which I hope you guys will enjoy. So let's rest. We really need to get cleaned up. Not liking how, how we're looking right now. Agony. I was in a cold sweat all of yesterday. Poor thing. At this rate, I'll be forced to type one-handed. If you do the math, my pinky is worth more than an average person's whole hand. We're talking about at least a 30% drop in efficiency. <sighs> it's been a while since I got it this bad. I might even throw up. So, leaving Kamurocho made you rusty, huh? Really with that? If I could wish the pain away, I would, man. Hey, if you've got the energy to complain, you'll be just fine. I'm gonna make this up to you guys. I promise. Well, if you want to do that, we'll need to figure out who and where they are. There's a high possibility this group is directly behind Mikoshiba's murder. And of course, that would mean they know Ehara as well. How about swapping more info with the Kanagawa police? Let's save that for when we really need it. We're not the authorities here, so we need to play our cards close to our chest. I think that's a wise decision. Sauri san's on top of getting things set up with Ehara, right? In that case, I'll head back to Kamurocho. Take your time prepping. We can always regroup up there. Oh, is it finally time to talk to Ehara? Head to Kamurocho. Let's go see Sauri. Oh yeah, my girl. All right, I'm ready. Main story. No side stuff. We'll do it later. Kamurocho. Kamurocho. What's up, Kaito-san? Something wrong? Call me crazy. But doesn't the city seem noisier to you? What the hell? Kaito senses tingling or something? Hmm, maybe they are. Well, no point trying to explain shit that doesn't make sense. Anyway, I need to go talk to Sari-san before the interview. Yeah, let's go. What is it? But Hold on a minute, Tuff. What? I'm noticing a lot more punk scurrying around than normal. Something's up. Really? Huh, maybe so. Hey, don't I know you two? You're detectives around here, ain't you? Yeah, so what? You ever seen this guy before? A few years ago, he was the manager at some girl's bar nearby. Haven't seen this guy around, or maybe I have and just forgot. Uh, he doesn't look familiar to me. You really need all these meatheads just to find one dude? <laughs> Must be one slippery eel. Damn right he is. Now do you know him or not? Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Out of curiosity, what's a guy doing running a girl's bar? 
I don't think he actually ran the floor or anything. All I care about is him up and vanishing out of nowhere. So he's a missing person? Since when? Five years ago. I mean, disappearing from Kamurocho isn't that uncommon. Five years? What do you really expect to find? Your guy have a name? And who gave the order to find him? You trying to be cute? We're the ones asking the questions here. Don't fuck with us. Who's fucking with who, asshole? You want to ask questions, you're gonna have to ask nice. Nice or not, information has a price. It's our bread and butter, so we don't give handouts. How about I butter your brains on the sidewalk? Straight to throwing punches, huh? Even the Yakuza treated people better than that. Ah, fuck off! No more getting pushed around. Oh, it didn't work. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then we got something else with this. It's like after pressing triangle, hold the square. What? What? Oh, we'll try it later. <laughs> we'll try it later. What's up? That all you guys got? Kamurocho used to be tough. Look at these punks. <laughs> Kaito san. Huh? Who are these clowns? It's Akatsu. First name Daimo. You know him? Former Tojo clan guy, ex Yakuza. Yakuza? Well, if you say so. Yagami Detective Agency. Maybe I ought to just hire you guys for this. We're looking for a guy. You heard, didn't you? Daimu Akutsu. Miss Guy you're after. He was some kind of girls bar manager here in town. I take it this manhunt is your idea? No. I just want to interrogate Ihara. Came from one of his connections. There's going to be a big pile of cash in it for whoever finds him. Practically all of Kamurocho's in on this race. And Soma is? He's the one in charge of the RK gang. Of course, he's former Tojo clan too. First name Kazuki. That's crazy. Did the whole Tojo clan join this thing? Kaito would know all about all the bullshit rules it takes to keep the Yakuza running. 
They'll take their cut from you and call it the honorable thing to do in the same damn breath. Right, Kaito? In this new age, wouldn't you be better off joining us? You guys are too small time to pull that shit on me. <laughs> you know what else, though? In the Yakuza, if your boys went down, it was on you to get revenge for them. I don't give two shits about that these days. I would say, if there's someone disrespecting you, you might as well go get the jump on them. I would walk right up and stick them in the gut. <laughs> You wouldn't even see it coming, detective. Yeah? So don't go disrespecting me. The hell? There I don't think I even said shit. Next time. Okay. Akatsu, you said? <laughs> Yagami's yeah, like, oh, right? <laughs> nah. He may have had the potential, but he never got to make anything of it. The whole thing came crashing down before he got his time in the sun. What is up with that one guy? Some was the same way, outfit. actually. They both tried to climb up the Yakuza ranks, but then the families disbanded. And by the time that happened, all the pawns were cleared off the board. Hmm. So, now they're ex Yakuza in the wind. And along comes this gang without all the rules and systems they were dealing with. You end up with RK and Network of Thugs. R.K.? What does the acronym stand for? <laughs> Who the hell knows? After the Yakuza, I guess they wanted to sound more Western. If they think they can replace the Tojo clan, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, but I wouldn't say they've been discriminating. Civilian punks who want quick cash are easy recruits. R.K.'s happy to scoop them up. Next thing you know, you've got an asshole army. That's unfortunate, but... Speaking of the Tojo clan, have you talked to Higashi lately? Can we see yeah. Higashi? As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. If you get a chance, you ought to show up there every once in a while. Yes, right uh, now! Higashi, I am the last person in the world that guy wants to see. Aw, oh, come on. He... He was cool with us. He warmed up to us, right? Hey, it's a purple enemy. Let's fight him. Even tough at all. What a waste. A little bit of extra SP from that. Oh, oh sorry, son. Yagami san made it. Sorry for the wait. I ran into some typical nonsense. We good to go? I've been good to go for a while. Ehara is waiting, and so are the answers. I've been good to go for a while, too. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was in Mikoshiba's murder. From the way it's been so far, I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. If you won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. Yagami-san. Ehara won't know what hit him. I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami-san? <laughs> well, Ego's ready and raring to go. Fill me in back at the office, okay? <laughs> I might even tidy the place up a bit if you're lucky. Lots of open bottles to polish off. Right. Okay. Are we leaving? Yeah. All right, where, what are we doing? Are we getting in a cab? Go to the Tokyo, oh, via taxi, okay. Tokyo Detention Center, here we come. Oh, 
I thought you'd lost already. <clears throat> so, what more could my lawyers want from me here? Well, normally I would say the same. However, a corpse turned up as you said it would. It turns out you have a pension for prophecy, Aharasan. <laughs> prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. Oh. We're the dramatic ones? No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Yagimi's my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Genda and Saori-san. But today, I'm in Serio High School in a contract advisory role for one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working a separate case. But that was when Shirosake sensei called, so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? Ha <laughs> ha. You might say it was a miracle. I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mikoshiba. You blame him for Toshiro-kun's death, don't you? I do. Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. A third-party investigation found no bullying occurred, didn't it? At school, Mikoshiba tortured my son. He would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. Ahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. Ahara-san, <laughs> just a second. <laughs> Why would I give you that? Yagami-san. Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. <sighs> Doesn't that sound great? Ugh. No? My gut tells me Ahara's guilty for sure. There's no doubt he's connected to Mikoshiba's murder. I need to hold his attention and convince him to stay. Gotta make him understand I have more info than the police do. Okay, well, the picture would be a good start. Um, that we got from probably somebody who's working with Ahara. There's also this security footage of the Yokohama... Well, the police... We gave the police, like, this photo. We showed it to them. So they wouldn't have this. Show a piece of evidence the police don't have. This is the only one. Mind taking a look at this? That's supposed to be security footage? I've deduced that these are the killers. Oh. Seems they didn't want me probing around Ijincho. They even hurt my friends to send a message. Not only that, they turned a local gang against me. The first time they tailed me, I was heading to a meetup with Sawa Sensei from Serio High School. <sighs> You remember Sawa Sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago, not long before your son passed away. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court he was never bullied. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators. The lawyers. They felt like choking the life right out of them. Don't you hurt her. But if anyone needed Leave Sawa pay, alone. It was Mikoshiba. He got what he deserved. It's nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. 
It all comes back to a flawed and broken system of laws that has no business calling itself justice. Then it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You, my friend, are way off. I don't believe him. But also, it can't be that easy, right? Can't be that simple. The way that interview went, Nahar is definitely guilty. But if we can't connect him to the murderers, we're left with no leads to follow. Yeah. Kept that secret on lockdown, no matter what I asked. What could possibly link Ihara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in Ijinjo. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll be in town for now. Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Okay. Well, is there anything we want to do? There are... Well, there is one sub-story open. Only one. Uh, I was gonna say skip it, but since it's just one, we might as well check it out. Who's this guy? See what we got. Cafe bar romance. I said, give me the goddamn money. Move it. I, I, I don't have the code to open the register. I'm just a part timer. I don't give a shit what you are. Open it or you're hmm? dead. What the? Is that a robbery? That's the last shot for the day. Thank you, everyone. Tomorrow morning, we pick a things up back at the studio. Extras, you'll be getting an email from us soon. Thanks again. Oh man, they were shooting Office 4 there? Alo Office Alone 4 here? Wish I could have snuck in and among the extras. According to Chatter, they're shooting a robbery scene at another location too. Are movies with robberies that, Im that popular? Oh, it's for a movie. Jeez, I was really worried for a second there. Guess I should beat it. Don't want to get in the way of cleanup. Office alone four. Okay. Can I get off the uh, trail here? Whoa, whoa. Something just popped up on my mini map. What? Was there another keyword? Oh, I didn't realize. I said, give me the goddamn money. Move it. I, I, I don't have the code to open re the register. I'm just a part timer. I don't give a shit what you are. Open it or you're dead. Mm -hmm. What the? Is that a robbery? But weren't they shooting the same scene before? And they said they were done. What's this? Temporarily closed due to filming? Something doesn't add up. They were done shooting in that cafe on Tenkaichi Street. Why would anyone bother shooting identical scenes at different locations? I don't see any staff around. This is fishy. I should observe the storefront for a bit. <gasps> It's a real robbery, but they're trying to make it pass off as a 
movie shoot. Suspicious. And say I've ever seen Alps try using one of those as a sign before. Yeah, um, I can't read it. SOS. Oh, I didn't see that. But, but okay, that's great and all, but how do I? What the? Oh, I can do. Oh, I Suspicious. can do this. I didn't know I could do that. Wait, is that actually saying there's a robbery right now? I hope I'm just worried about, about nothing. But if I'm right about this, there's a real problem. I should check out the situation for myself. Maybe I'll loop around to the back of the store and pop in quietly. Damn, it's locked. Well, this is an emergency. Lock picking time. We haven't done much of this. Nice. That'll do it. Okay, got it. Open the register or you're dead, hear me? No, please. Don't do this. I can't open it. I really can't. I knew it. That sign saying there's a robbery right now, not not a film shoot. You gotta call the cops. This is going nowhere. Fuck it. Ah! Now, give me the money or this lady's dying right in front of you. Ugh. Shit. This is bad. No time for cops. I have to do something. But what can I do without getting anyone hurt? How can I close the distance? <gasps> Obviously, an Ono Michio outfit for, for promotional use in the Ono Michi collaboration menu kickoff event. Guess that explains why it's here. Did this help me get close to the burglar? Put on... Oh, put Onomichio on and sneak in! Well, I guess he wouldn't expect Onomichio to charge in on him. Maybe I actually could take him by surprise. Can I, though? This is starting to seem a little out there. Do I really want to take on this burglar as Onomichio? Yes! You know what? If I find the right spot, I could... All right, pal. Time to meet you. T time to meet you, maker. <laughs> yes, the pose. Uh, you guys can't see, but I'm doing it. I'm totally doing it. What? <laughs> Did I see? Now, why would I see a giant? orange-headed dude standing there where did he go that was close i guess his costume's too distracting for me to approach him ah uh, okay well at least we got to do it i should look for something more camouflaging dang it okay should we go in solid snake style so many boxes guess they all get tossed back here aren't they supposed to flatten them this one's pretty big though maybe i can get in and sneak on him real slick like Yes! Center of gravity is pretty low. Feels like I can manage, though, if I don't make any wrong moves. All right, time for some tactical cafe action. Hmm? Whatever. Just a box. It's a... Uh, wanna watch this woman die? A, a boy. fucking register! <laughs> Someone, please! Oh.
It's totally not getting closer. It's totally fine. Okay, this ought to do the trick. Nice. Whoa, shit. Where'd you come from? Let me go. Hey. It's over. Stop resisting. Police, we got a report of an armed robbery. Yeah, this is the man. I caught him in the middle of it. Run? Huh? Who said run? Oh. Uh. What? She's in it. She's in on it with him? What? The police officer is useless! Seriously? Officer, that woman's partner's with the robber. I'll chase after him. You arrest the woman. Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Dude. Calling for backup. Calling for backup! Hold up. Man, these Kamurocho police, man. They gotta step their game up. Ooh, I always hit the wrong button. I always hit triangle. We're going through the Millennium Tower. This guy is fast. He's way up there. Hold up. part gotcha. you're done give it up no way using the movie shoot as the cover though that was pretty smart i have to say and a partner who plays along as a customer you had your own little scene going on didn't you shit this wasn't how it was supposed to end well, that's how it ends, buddy. That's how the cookie crumbles, my friend. Thank you for helping to apprehend the suspect. Oh, no problem. I'm just glad no innocent people got hurt. These two are a husband and wife team. They've been making a real mess all across the country lately. They take advantage of different local events to commit crimes uh, without raising much attention. I see. Ah, so this time they exploited a movie shoot nearby. But it wasn't enough to keep them out of the clink. Thanks again. Oh, and the owner of Alps asked me to give you this. Extract recipe. Oh, thank you. I imagine they'll be closed for a while after something like this, huh? Quite the opposite, actually. He said he couldn't wait to open the doors back up again once we were done with the scene. Oh. Wow, really? Well, I guess that's just Alps for you. Even an armed robbery isn't enough to shake them. I suppose I better get going. Right. Please report any other crimes you may see. We should go do them some business. 
Hey, did you see that Office Alone 4 leak? This is burglary in a cafe and it's so sick! Huh? Weren't they just shooting that? Though, how's it already out? I guess someone secretly filmed it with their phone while they were on set. You seriously have to see it. Like, it's so real. <laughs> Who is taking the video? Seriously? Oh, uh, what? This angry guy catching the robber. Is he the main character? Can't really see his face from this angle. Any idea who he is? I don't recognize him. Maybe this is his first movie? He's good at action, though. If he's got acting chops, he might even have a decent career. I'll show you chops. Maybe I'll poke my head into the drama club one of these days, though. Uh... <laughs> okay, what were we doing? Alright, so... Um, I guess we can go... What time is it? Okay, 45 minutes. Cool. We can go do some more main stories. So we gotta go back to... Yagami Detective Agency. Let's go see Kaito. Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey, did you see that email from Tsukumo? Huh? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Something happened? It's the murder footage. Oh. Mikoshiba's murder ended up on the internet. It's going viral on all the social media sites. You gotta forgive me. I'll do anything you want. I didn't know he'd do it. I swear. Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think... I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. Oh. Oh, no. What the hell? Stop it, stop it. What? Ahara? Ahara. Ahara has an alibi for this, doesn't he? Better not be another fucking he twin found brother. Him guilty. And that's the whole reason he couldn't have killed Mikoshiba, right? But if that's the case, what the hell is this? one way or another. Either this thing is staged, or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. I need to have another chat with Ahara. Damn it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. going on oh my god this is crazy next chapter a train groping and a murder seem to occur simultaneously yagami relentlessly pursues these cases attempting to poke holes in each after confronting Akihiro Ehara, the key figure in both crimes, he witnesses a harrowing video that provides more questions than answers. In it, a bound man pleads for his life, but his attacker, bound by vengeance, snuffs it out. Oh. Chapter 5, Double Jeopardy.
So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's shown up on TV, though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex-cop going from by-the-book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. The reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. AI has reached a point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. Someone even made a video that made it look like the US president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. That's so true. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Most likely? So then our timelines well, no must be wrong. That it wasn't altered in some way. Or the Tokyo Which police are in on it. Which substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. Oh, all this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. Why would the killers go through the trouble of spreading this footage? What good would it serve them? That is the question. Causing a public uproar, uproar? Obstructing the investigation? Whatever the case, I still have some interviewing to do. Looks like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirosaki-sensei about it. Yeah, that was my thought too. That is so crazy. I mean, yeah, it could be a face mask. It could be a body double. It could be a freaking twin, a clone, rubber bullets. I mean, like nothing's uh, out the window. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose. Oh, if that's the case, why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the fact? Is he trying to get caught? Only Ahara could answer that one for you. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see Sauri san then? Let's go. What is it? Man, that is just oh, that was I didn't want I didn't like watching that. I mean, yeah, Mikoshiba was a jerk. He was scum. And he made some really bad mistakes, but I just don't find pleasure in hearing somebody like begging for their life like that. Really, guys? I 
could heal up just to be safe. work against this guy or am I just messing it up oh my god he's gonna kill me he's gonna murder me Wild no Jackson? Let's or Yoshinoya. Let's, you know, let's... The burgers always look so good in these games. Let's get a burger. Starving. Now we're talking. Mm, Pretty tasty. So good. Thanks. It looks Thank you so much. good. Okay, we were going to Genda. Let's roll. Oh, hold the door, please. Huh? Mafia. Mafia, you. You're here. It's been too damn long, Mafia. I was John. wondering if she was yeah. going to show up at any point. By any chance, Yagami-kun, are you working on a case for salary? A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. I hope you didn't watch that. Mafia, you shouldn't be watching that kind of stuff. Mafia is a public prosecutor for the Tokyo office. She is also best friends with Saori san ever since college. Two talented lady hotshots of the law on opposing sides of the courtroom. Apparently, they have a bit of a fan club. Oh, I'm a part of it. Oh, they're egg psycho on the burger? <laughs> okay, thank you for clearing that up. Are you here about the Ahara case too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now. Especially the higher-ups. I'll bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, Sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over, after the fact. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend Salary. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> well, that clears up a lot. There you kids are. Figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia? You? You're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. But wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only motive coming here? Sorry? Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? <laughs> In your dreams? I had no idea Yagami-kun was involved until just now. All right. I'll accept that. For now. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss this little banter. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Oh, stop, I don't want to hear this again. Needless to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine-tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. They've deemed it an unreliable source and therefore useless as evidence. Basically, they want it to look like it was considered and already thrown out. Huh? So, they're not going to verify the video? 
Not even question Ahara about Mikoshiba? Nothing? Nope. Not after it was proven in court that Ahara committed sexual battery on October 7th. I mean, wouldn't you say a conviction has a certain finality to it? Besides, there's no way Ehara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. Special effects, CGI, whatever it is, we're not buying it. Huh. Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ahara's trial. And that is... His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ahara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence. Since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding, he just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and he'd add that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano Kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why's that? Supposedly, they don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder. It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original ruling. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ahara, he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. That means he's untouchable. Oh, they're good. Exactly. None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. Their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. Video footage of a murder preventing a police investigation instead of starting one. What an absurd situation. Until recently, people were lining up to bring a heart to justice. Yet somehow his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain is going to need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold. All to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare you? Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking... We're the only ones who could take a case like this. That's the spirit, Hoshino. Ah, that's the good shit, kid. The good shit. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. As for me, I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. That did clear up a lot. No problem. See ya. Man, what a <sighs> sticky situation! Is you chan cuter than ever, or what? I think maybe it's time to light that flame again. Oh uh, my gosh. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not like that. Yeah. Yeah. Saudi sons, my girl. Even though she's currently confused and thinks she likes Hoshino. I'll make her see the light. Mafia Kun's pretty popular now, you know? A looker like her? I bet criminals line up for their day in court. <laughs> That's twisted. Yagami-san, we should go see Ihara as soon as possible. I wonder what he'll have to say about the video.
Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Kahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? I was actually about to suggest that. Uh, one moment. It's from Ahara's prison. What? Hello? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. You're joking. To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How... how is that even possible? I'm guessing the murder footage that was uploaded yesterday was also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again so soon? I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force could be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. This shit's turning into a full-blown conspiracy, eh, Doc? Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse. Now what are we supposed to do? Come on. There are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauriku. Okay. The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. The groping or the murder? Right now, which one do we doubt more? Did we ever see the footage from all the security cameras at the station? We just saw the phone footage. But there were eyewitnesses. Unless they were all on it, in on it. Oh no. Oh shit. What if they're both real? The murder footage or the groping was the setup? How could they be the only... So... We're assuming that he couldn't have... Did the groping and then the murder. Because the times don't match up. Like, he couldn't have been in two places at once. But... What if... What if they were wrong about... What time Mikoshiba was killed? Because... But he went missing. Wait. He went missing. When did he go missing? Dang it. I don't know. Mm, I think they got to be both real, but there's something that we're missing. Maybe. Well, hold on. What if they're both real? Both his alibi and the video? In that case, let's start with the murder. After committing the murder in Ijincho, Ehara would have had 13 minutes to make it to Ikebukuro Station. Ijin Cho and Ikebukuro are roughly 30 kilometers apart. It's possible if he traveled 140 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Is it though? Ehara would have had to change out of his bloody clothes. So he probably ought to shave those 13 minutes down. On top of that, he was traveling during rush hour. It just doesn't seem feasible. Okay, then let's rule that out. <sighs> I'd say we're making some progress here, guys. Boy, you're really reaching for that silver lining, aren't you? Regardless of who actually murdered Mikushiba, we have two conflicting accounts here. Which one was faked? Maybe then the groping incident was a setup. I think we should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference. No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. 
the search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ahara's alibi doesn't hold up. Time to really scrutinize this case. What evidence was Ahara relying on to falsify his alibi? If Ahara murdered Mikoshiba, there must be some deceit within the groping evidence. We have the footage of the... Okay, so we have the security footage and the camera phone footage. So we have security footage, the smartphone footage, trace elements inspection taken from Akihiro Ahara's hands immediately after arrest, fibers detected on him match the fibers on the victim's underwear. But if the victim was all in on it, then that could be, it was already planted there before. I don't know. I don't know. Car's transit card. The commuter pass automatically re records the time of entry. He passed through the Ikaburo station gate at 7.43, over an hour before the incident occurred. Oh, the transit card could be a fake. Because he was... Wait, hold on. Let me think about this. Right, so, okay, so, he, there was a blind spot in the camera footage. Okay, that's when they swapped. So they got somebody to dress like him, to try to look like him, and use his card to go through the station, go to the station, and then stand by the sign and scope out for a victim. He was wearing a mask, but it was it up or down? But it, either way. And then at some point, they swapped during the the camera footage where it goes blank. So according to what they think they know, that he was at the station at uh 743 really the groping took place at 906 and the 912 was when this footage was taken so that was somebody else who got there i solved it okay so, the deceit, I definitely see it, remember the blind spot, that's part of it, but I'm, I'm looking at this ticket right now. This part's still getting to me. You think it's Ahara's transit card? Let's see, Ahara used his transit card to get through the gates at Ikebukuro Station, meaning the system logged his entrance that automatically. That was him! This was on October 7th at 7.43 a.m. We know the earliest time Mikoshiba could have been murdered was 7.30 a.m. But traveling from Ijincho to Ikebukuro in only 13 minutes? I mean... It's beyond unrealistic. Near impossible, really. Then all this card proves is that Ahara simply passed through the gate? Well, yes. But as he did so, Ahara was caught on multiple security cameras as well. So the card is corroborating evidence for that. I see. Thought I was on to something. No, you are. There's more to it. Okay, so aside from that, the security cameras have uh, a blind spot. This part's still getting to me. The Shinjuku station diagram? Did something happen at the platform? 
Well, the majority of the incident was caught on camera. But I don't think we have any footage of what happened around here. It's not much, but it's a blind spot all the same. Hoshino Kun and I confirmed that at the scene. Okay, but how would this blind spot change anything? The first thing that comes to mind is, it gives Ahara a chance to swap with the stand-in. Yes! Yes! The real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and Ijincho at 7.30, then headed to Shinjuku Station. Then, mm -hmm. just after 9 o'clock, he swapped places with the stand-in, mm -hmm. getting caught on purpose. So you're suggesting that there were two Aharas at Shinjuku Station? Yep. And the true assailant, the Ahara look-alike, disappeared into the crowd. Wait, if what you propose is true, does that mean Ahara never touched the victim? Yeah. But the police inspection revealed trace fibers from the victim's clothing on Ahara's hand. Ah, uh, trace inspection. Yeah, so no matter what, the fact that Ahara touched the victim remains standing. He touched the her clothing. The victim felt his hand reach under her skirt right after the train departed Ikebukuro. She was scared motionless for the entire commute until arriving at Shinjuku Station. Could you describe the victim for me? She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full they threatened name, her. Yui Mamiya, 30 years old. A wife and mother. Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. <sighs> That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective, right? Yeah. Say Kaito-san. Looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. So, they threatened her son, and they approached her and said, Hey, wear these underwear on this day and go to the station like you always do. There, bam. Could have easily done it. Yeah, I brought my own food. Unless I'm working at the courthouse, I always bring a bento. Thanks to mom. <laughs> oh, she knows. So pure. Say, Yagami. You sure you don't want to take up your old post again? I've got nothing against detectives, but... The energy here is so different when you're around. Aw, but I couldn't do the things that I do if I were a lawyer. We should have the victim's personal information somewhere on file here. I'll need some time to find it. Feel free to go eat with Kaito-san. Okay. Well... This might be a good place to stop. Dang. Ah! Okay. But the question still stands, so if... If everything that I'm thinking is true, and Ahara got a stand-in so that he could use it as his alibi, and he was the one who killed Mikoshiba, why would he have the footage released? What's the purpose of that? Why would he have the footage leaked? Anyways, very intriguing. <laughs>